What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to install this Canvia Smart Art Canvas screen. Basically what it is, is it's a screen that you can display your own art or pictures and upload it to the screen and create a slideshow for your family to watch throughout the day. Or if you really love art and you wanna support artists using the Canvia app, you can download art from real artists and upload it to this smart art canvas. It comes with a wall bracket. It also comes with this power adapter, which is kind of big and bulky. So that's why I purchased this right here. This is a recessed AC outlet. It's actually a power bridge. It goes behind the wall and installs to your electrical socket on the bottom where your AC outlet is as you see right here in this picture. These usually cost around 50 to $60. I bought it off of Amazon warehouse deals and I think I bought it for around 30 bucks, not too bad. It didn't come with the extension cord so I went ahead and bought the extension cord. This does not go in the wall. This actually plugs in on the bottom to the existing AC outlet. You're also gonna need a drill, drywall knife, and a pencil, a level, and a stud finder. This channel is all about innovative products like the Canvia Smart Art Screen, installations, and repairing tech. So if you guys are into that, subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. So right there, as you can see, there's an HDMI port, looks like a micro SD card, and a power port. As you can see right here, the power adapter sticks out a little bit too much and that's why I got the recessed power bridge later on hopefully they'll have a lower profile power adapter that it would sit flush now you can hang it off with this hook right here and make the picture frame vertical or you can hang it off with this and make it horizontal I'm gonna do horizontal because this is a wide wall this magnetic stud finder is about five dollars on amazon i'll leave a link in the video description below and what this does it finds the drywall nail that's nailed into the stud so there's a stud right here yeah we're gonna mark that now you want to make sure you measure out the screen size so you, you can mark it on the wall later on i'm not going to use the one inch screws that are included i'm going to use three inch wood screws that's going to bite into the stud and securely mount the wall bracket on the wall. And next you want to level out the wall bracket on the wall. Once everything is leveled, then you can insert that second screw and screw that screw down. Now if you want, you can hang the screen on the hook to take a look at the location. You can mount it portrait mode or landscape mode. And you wanna make sure it's level. Next, I'm gonna install the power bridge. And I'm gonna mark the width and the height of the screen. I wanna, I wanna make sure that power bridge is behind the screen. And I'm gonna level it out right here and trace around the wall plate. Now keep in mind, when you trace around the wall plate, you wanna make sure you cut within that traced line. If you cut outside the line, then you're gonna to have to repair the wall because you're gonna leave a gap. So I'm gonna cut one centimeter inside that traced line so I don't see any gaps later on when I insert that wall plate. It's easier to trim later on and fit the wall plate perfectly then repair the wall later on. So next you wanna drop the cable down the wall. Hopefully there's no fire block blocking that path down the wall. And next insert the power bridge wall plate and then screw down the wing nuts that should bite into the wall and securely fasten to the wall and 
and next you want to go ahead and level it and screw down the remaining screws. And right here I'm marking the wall according to the nearby AC outlet so it's the same height and I'm going to trace around the wall plate casing the wall plate mount and now I'm going to cut around inside that traced line and once again you want to cut within the traced line so you can always trim it later on to fit the wall plate mount instead of repairing the wall. Now I'm using my hand to pull out the plug but you can use a hanger if it's easier for you. Next, you want to slide in the wall plate bracket and move the wing nuts inward so you can fit it in, into the wall. And right here, I'm trimming it out to make space for the wall plate bracket. And once you screw down those screws, the wing nut will bite into the wall and secure it on the wall. Now you want to insert the plug backwards on that box and make sure it fits into the slot flush and then snap on the back cover. And then screw down the back plate. and push down the cable and insert the box. Screw in the in inner screws. And you wanna make sure it's centered. And then don't uh, over tighten because the plastic will crack. And then insert that outside plate with the flathead screwdriver. Plug in the extension cord and then plug in the other end into a existing AC outlet. And right here I'm tacking down the cable so no one trips on it. Plug in the power adapter. Make sure the cable is wound up so it doesn't show. And tilt to hang it on the wall bracket. And you want to make sure it's level. plastic download the app. Now from the app store you want to download their app Canvia. And you want to sign in using an email and password. Let's click on setup. Alright so it's connected right now and let's go ahead and update it. Alright let's go to settings right here. Go to the menu, click on settings, and you adjust the brightness. Here we go. That looks a little bit better. I have it sleep mode. Uh, let's go and choose can oh, landscape. Yeah, landscape mode. Portrait is vertical. Landscape, I believe, is horizontal mode. And let's do partial artwork caption. Choose that so it, it adjusts to the lighting in the room. I guess that's the ambient light sensor. So this is the slideshow, I believe, and I can have it set to seconds, minutes, or hours. I'll have it switch every eight seconds. Let's go back, and let's go ahead and upload an image of myself, or maybe my son. And just click on upload. Oh, very cool. Some other pictures. This is portrait mode. This is all landscape mode. Ooh, I like marine life. I'm going to choose that. Black right here. And we're going to upload 
Let's upload this one right here. And you could crop it if you want. Let's go ahead and crop it. Select that, hit upload. And there it is. Very cool. So let's go ahead and click on personal playlist. And we have to go to the website. So you click on down here and it'll select everything that you uploaded. And if you want to delete something, you press delete. If you know anyone that loves art or loves their family and then they want to display it on this smart art screen, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. If you guys are interested in the Canvia smart art screen, check out the link in the video description below. Also check out the Power Bridge link in the video description below to make a very clean installation. Otherwise, you could just get a wire cover and run the wire straight down from the bottom of the screen. That works too, but it looks a little tacky. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.